Today, we're gonna break down Vulture the Rock episode 4. Mm, get a lot of fans. So, keep on watching. It's quite, um, it's quite a toned down episode, uh, this, uh, this time out. Pero, let's not get ahead of ourselves, guys. First order of business, the thumbnail. This was the final scene of the episode. We're in. Hitori, um, stops her secret room with, uh, with the band's jump pick as wallpaper. Anyone can, can consider this scene creepy? <laughs> Pero, on, uh, if you, if you want to look at it positively, kumaga parang positive reinforcement ito kay Hitori because she wants to, um, she wants to stay in this band forever. At saka talagang uh, itinuturo na niya mga kaibigan ang mga bandmates niya ito. So, probably for uh, what you call this? You can also treat it as a, as a psychological device. Yung ginawa niya yun. In order for her to, uh, to, to fully grasp those uh her her bandmates personalities who knows we'll only uh, we'll only see that in the next few episodes so what it would make but yeah it makes a very creepy thumbnail <laughs> what do you think so let's get to the nitty-gritty of the episode guys face this is the episode where the anime showed its uh its slice of life element okay the slice of life element of this uh, anime was was in full view in this episode. So yung pacing niya medyo slow, but medyo profound din eh. So it's typical of a slice of life anime. Do I have complaints? Absolutely not. All right. What you come up through this episode fits the slice of life genre really well, right? And the pacing of this episode will tell you that. Blow the man. The first clear shit here was was when the band uh, decided to go out for a photo shoot. Down there for a photo. Short for promotional photo. Well, this is the basic principle of social media, guys. That's why I call it a gear shift. May educational value on gear shift at all. If you're just starting out, whether you're uh, whether you're in a um, in a in a paid career or a, or a content creator like me, you have to get the word out visually and uh, well, if you're and especially if you're a band, both visually and and uh, and hearing wise, okay? you have to elicit um, all the five senses of the public at large. Para mapansin kayo. This gear shift will show you how. Second gear shift was Hitori and Rio's coffee shop meetup. That is a no-brainer. Why? Because what well, Hitori and Rio are um, kumaga, well, they are the uh, they are the designated songwriters of the band. Okay? So yeah, they have to meet up as often as possible when it comes to material. Original material. Ah. Through this gearship, it will also tell you that, yeah, they're not functioning as a band. Okay? They're starting to get organized now. Talaga may, may clear-cut rules na ang bawat member. Final gearship is of course the final scene. Okay? And, well, we all know by now that Hitori has a huge, uh, what you call this, uh, uh, social social health issue, okay, and she needs to get over that as soon as possible. Because she's playing lead guitar, right? And she's in a band. Hindi ka pwedeng hindi ka pwedeng magtago on stage all uh all throughout the performance. No, nope, you can't do that. So. You can take this gear shift now as a way for Hitori to uh, to to progressively cure herself of this this social anxiety issues that she has. That's a good way, 
right? That's a good way. So, these three gears that I saw, guys, don't just watch these three gears yet. Watch the whole episode. Because <laughs> you're gonna miss out on the uh, you're gonna miss out on the on the comic uh, on the comic elements, right? If you're into the slice of the slice of life genre that uh, that deeply, or bakit talagang dini deep dive yung bawat episode, just watch these three gear shifts, right? Magigess yung ada ng episode. Plot wise, slice of life, eh, right? Now, the slice of life elements, right? It fully highlighted the slice of life nature of this episode or of this anime. So. No backstories or side stories or even explainer sequences are needed here. Therefore, money is a plot, guys. Slice of Life animes are known for their clean plots. Bihira talaga ang isang slice of life anime na nagba backstory, side story, or well, explainer, mas madalas pa nga eh. Pero backstory or side story, no? Talagang, a slice of life anime actually moves forward and never looks back. And this episode's clean plot will also tell you that what's the rock, yep, it just keeps moving forward. Which is typical of a slice of life anime. So, face flowing plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. And wow, Bochy the Rock is now holding its own in, uh, in the slice of life genre with this episode. So, Bochy the Rock episode 4 is our Dude I only have a few words for the parking shot, okay? If you successfully separated K on from this anime, good. Because this anime has its own identity. I can now I can now say to you guys. Four episodes in, all because of this episode alone. I say talagang, uh, they're doing this bad thing outside of school. Okay? Sa Kayon kasi, sanctioned by their school ang banda nila. So the way the way I see it. The girls of Bolts in the Rock are having an even harder time than, than the girls of K-On. Mas mahirap yung pinagdadaan ngayon ng, ng, uh, ng apat na babaeng to. Kasi, kumbaga eh, they're, they are uh, doing this because they want to, uh, they want to stop them in. They want to have, they want, they want to have some sort of income on their own. And, and because, mainly because they love music. And the schools that they're in, kasi, probably are probably are not into uh, developing musicians, but yeah, talagang like, um, academics, academics focus. So let's just see, let's just see, okay, let's just see, guys. So again, what's in the rock? Episode four.